Hey everyone, Ben with Green Feet Medical. Today we're going to go over the age-old debate that shouldn't exist. Tampons versus gauze for traumatic bleeding. Now we brainstormed long and hard to find the source of this educational disconnect and we think it stems from a lack of knowledge on a woman's menstrual cycle and a tampon's intended use. Guys, I'm looking at you. I don't think you paid enough attention in health class. First, let's better understand the menstrual cycle. If you think this is an awkward topic, you shouldn't. In short, every 28 days or so, the uterus develops a lining intended to nourish and protect a fertilized egg. If an egg does not become fertilized, it will not attach to this lining and no pregnancy will occur. The uterus will then shed this lining and the remnants of the egg. This shedding is known as menstruation. Bear in mind, this is just one part of the cycle. We will go over the menstrual cycle in a later video, so stay tuned for that. On average, menstrual bleeding can last 3-8 to eight days with the heaviest bleeding occurring in the first few days. But every woman is different, with the average blood loss from menstruation being 30 to 60 milliliters over multiple days. Now, a tampon is used to absorb bleeding and menstrual fluid from the uterus, limiting the amount of menstrual fluid that ultimately comes out of the vagina. The tampon is not intended to stop bleeding. That would be bad. Moreover, a tampon is meant to be changed as it reaches its absorbent capacity of 5 to 10 milliliters generally every four hours. Remember, in traumatic bleeding, we are looking at volumes of 1,000 to 2,000 plus milliliters of blood loss in minutes. Let me reiterate, the average tampon is only meant to absorb five to 10 milliliters of blood over a few hours. But how much volume is that really? For our visual learners, let's see what that looks like. First up, here's 10 milliliters of blood loss. Remember, this is a tampon's total absorbent capacity over several hours. Now let's look at 50 milliliters, which is the average blood loss from menstruation over three to eight days in total. In medical trauma, one to two liters of blood loss is not uncommon in just a few minutes. Here's what that looks like. Ugh. Holy <laughs> Now that we understand that tampons are simply a sponge for small amounts of blood, Let's look at gauze that is meant to control life-threatening hemorrhage. Curlix gauze is specifically designed with a mesh lattice network to form clots when applied with enough direct pressure and time on the source of the bleed. That is why during packing, we are finding the affected part of the artery and putting the gauze specifically on that spot. Curlix comes in many forms, compressed, Z-folded, rolled, sterile, non-sterile, and the list goes on and on. It is very affordable with costs ranging from $2 for simple rolled Curlix to $60 for gauze impregnated with a hemostatic agent. In this video, we are using an arterial bleed simulator to emulate a wound that requires wound packing. I am using the same proper technique for the gauze and the tampon, first finding the source of the bleed with my finger, then pushing and replacing the wound packing material directly onto the source of the bleed, maintaining consistent directional pressure on the affected part of the artery. I continue to pack onto the bleed and start to see occlusion with the gauze, but not the tampons. This is because no matter how many tampons I pack onto this bleed, it will not stop. It's the same as trying to stop a leaking pipe with a kitchen sponge. They are meant to be absorbent, not to occlude life-threatening hemorrhage or bleeding. Despite the highly discouraging amount of blood coming from the tampon pack, we still give it our best effort, fitting seven tampons into the wound cavity. Even fully packed, the bleed is not controlled, as blood continues to seep through all seven tampons and actively bleed out of the wound. This is an important lesson in improvisation. If you're planning to improvise, then you're planning to fail. So what did we learn? Hopefully a better understanding of the menstrual cycle and a tampon's absorbent, not occlusive properties. If you see this ill-thought medical advice online, go ahead and direct them to this video so we can finally bury this fairy tale medicine. Stop by our online store if you're looking for purpose-made medical supplies that will actually save your life. Please like and subscribe for more free medical content or don't, we aren't your parents. Thanks for watching.